Xbox's supposed green wave is looking more like a puddle as we head into holiday season 2023. Why? And is there an alternative perspective we should be using for Xbox? Join me for Xbox's quality struggles, Forza, Starfield, and Redfall. Let's get into this one. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of PNTS Network and Hard Knock Digital Culture back again with another episode and the return, the infamous return of where we started it all, baby, the medicine. But before we get into today's interesting video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when we're dropping these doses. All right. So today's video is titled xbox's struggles or xbox's quality struggles rather forza starfield and redfall hater gamers welcome back to the medicine today we're diving deep into the world of xbox and its recent struggles with quality and game releases now xbox fans brace yourselves because it's time we discuss the disappointing receptions that forza motorsport starfield and redfall have received after their launch and in order for us to do that, we're going to break this conversation up into several parts. All right. So let's start with the first one. And that is that aforementioned imaginary green wave. <laughs> Look, first off, let's talk about this green wave, right? The one that Xbox diehard fans and even Xbox themselves have been hyping up and alluding to. Now, the green wave was supposed to be Xbox's answer to improving their ecosystem and game quality compared to their competitors, such as PlayStation and Nintendo. But guess what? It's been a bit of a farce. I mean, come on, Xbox community. You kept pushing back the wave time frame. First, it was supposed to happen at the launch of the ninth generation of consoles uh, with Xbox Series X being the world's most powerful console. Then Xbox themselves had to change to the world's most powerful Xbox. <laughs> and why did they do that? They did that because it couldn't consistently outperform the PlayStation 5. It kept splitting ears with it. And to keep that mantra going, it would be like claiming you're the fastest runner in the world, but then struggling to keep up with everybody else on the track, right? But that's not it. Let's go on to section two. And that is, oh, that wonderful Redfall fiasco. Now, and moving on to Redfall, a game that was supposed to be a quality title, right? That, that, that's what Redfall was. We had Phil Spencer go out on, I think it was XO19 and introduce it himself to close out the show. Well, it turned out to be a real mess. And critics and gamers are like, we're not impressed. I mean, Redfall was plagued by bugs, performance issues, and a lack of engaging content. It's like going to a fancy restaurant and being served a piece of styrofoam painted to look like steak and potatoes. Yikes. But again, that, that, there's even more. And this one really hurts. Let's talk about the Starfield mediocrity. As we talk about the aforementioned Starfield, a game that was hyped as the next big thing, we gotta look at it in perspective. And in doing so, guess what? It received mediocre user scores across major platforms. Uh, I hate to say it, but Starfield was supposed to replace Halo? as Xbox's flagship title, right? There's many conversations about that. And simply put, it's not living up to the hype. It's like replacing an iconic franchise with another franchise, but then including even more mediocrity as the potential. But, it's, but it doesn't even stop. The bleeding can't even stop this year. Why? Because for the next section, let's talk about Forza Motorsport's downfall. Now, here we have Forza Motorsport. And the Forza games, they are always a pillar of quality when it comes to Xbox. Even if everything else just is a dud, you always got the spit polish on Forza where, you know, people could say, well, Xbox can give you that premier quality with something. Well, 
Forza Motorsport of 2023 is one of the lowest rated titles in the franchise. And while we'd love to give you more details on the shortcomings, it's, 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 there's just so many of them out there that you got to go and check out the different reviews and the different uh, um, takes from players. We'd be here all day. And I'm here to tell you the next to the ray tracing or, or the, the, the switcheroonie that Digital Foundry describes, right? That it, it, as far as what they saw in the, in the previous trailer, opposed to what the game actually has, or issues with microtransactions and stuff, there's plenty of them out here. We don't wanna be here all day. But it's just a shame that even the pillar title, Forza, couldn't help Xbox close out on a quality narrative on a good year, right? So that brings us to the next section. It's time for a reality check, Xbox gamers. It's clear that Xbox is struggling to deliver the quality that a lot of you may expect. Now, some of you may say MM2K, nothing wrong with Redfall. It wasn't perfect, but I enjoyed it. Starfield is, is, is fantastic and Forza is superb. If you feel that way, then guess what? This conversation may not be for you directly. Continue to listen. But this conversation is for those who again talked about the green wave, who live day and night on Twitter that Xbox surpasses PlayStation. This is the year that they're going to show their greatness. And we're going to show why we stuck it out with Phil Spencer for all these years. Yeah. Right. Good old, uh, <laughs> uh, good old pol political yeehaw, right? Inspiring Howard Dean. Well, you may be getting an Howard Dean moment, but it's <laughs> but it's the embarrassing one if you guys are following that mantra. All right. Here, here's here's what I think Xbox gamers may need to do. I think Xbox gamers, for those of you that are following that mantra of overcoming PlayStation and and dominating the gaming space with accolades and so forth. I think it's time to stop trying to compete with Sony and just find a new path, period. Here's my suggestion. Instead of console warring against Sony, maybe it's time to realize that Xbox has shifted its focus from quality games and tech to trying to be everywhere for their bottom line. And perhaps Xbox gamers should just follow Nintendo's um, example and praise the platform in its own lane, right? Because look, it's either that or you guys do try to find some way to influence them to have that quality narrative. If that's what you want, if you want to be the tip top, the 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 bees G's of quality and, and great tech, like how uh, the, the Xbox of old, then you got to start devising a good plan. And you don't develop a good plan without taking without talking big changes. And here's a bold suggestion in that regards. Maybe it's time to remove Phil Spencer and hire someone with a keen eye for quality. I mean, he's shown us time and time again that he does not have that. Crackdown, Redfall, Starfield, the game of the generation, far from the expectations that he has set. And as long as he's in charge, Xbox may never outdo PlayStation in terms of quality or output. So with that said, here's our conclusion. It's been a rocky road for Xbox lately and that quality narrative. Some, that, that same narrative that some of you seek so fundamentally Look, with Forza, Starfield, and Ridfall failing to meet the expectations set by Xbox in the community, it's a sad sight to see. It's time for Xbox gamers to reassess their expectations and maybe, just maybe, push for change in Xbox's leadership if they want to see a more quality-driven gaming future. Because... What do they say? The, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Thank you for joining us. 
here on the return of the medicine. We're going to be here every week. So join us for our breakdown and our thoughts on the latest and greatest in gaming news. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.